Well, the Watford supporters, who they haven't filled the uh, bottom tier of the stand on the far side, but there are those that have travelled up from Hertfordshire, and I can see a number of inflatable yellow snakes that are being waved around by the Watford supporters. And that is, of course, because... Well, there wasn't a golden handshake for Silver, was there? He uh, left in acrimonious uh, depart uh, circumstances. It was uh, still to be resolved. There is no time frame that has been set by the, the Premier League, but there is a, an independent commission set up to try and resolve it. Uh, the likely sanction is, is that Everton are going to face a very heavy fine. Um, but whilst that rumbles on, and I noticed that the uh, the Potsos are here, Scott Duxbury as well, the chief executive in the uh, in the director's box, because it was uh, acrimonious between the two. And in fact, uh, Marcel Brands, the new director of football at Everton, is saying that's why they paid over the odds for Richarlison, because of the dispute between the two. Yeah, uh, I mean, there will be a bit of bad feeling, of course, that, you know, they will with, uh, with the alleged approach from Everton uh, and Watford lost their way it, you know it, it, it totally derailed them um, so, I mean it's going to be interesting how that actually pans out in the end but um, I think looking forward to this match Isaac's successor player disregarded by Silver at Watford there'll be players out there at Watford who will have a point to prove I think do you now want to do your impression of David Attenborough if I was to mention the yellow inflatable snakes again no I, I, I knew uh, there was a species of silver snake you knew that did you I knew well well I googled it uh, and uh, they they live in the Bahamas I can see why Alistair Bruce Ball now has a tough time every every Saturday you looked me straight in the eye and said you knew that <laughs> Anyway, the team news is that Everton have made three changes. They were all rested last week. Keen, Walcott and, uh, and Bernard, they come back for Zuma, Tosin and Lookman. So Pickford is in goal. Coleman, Keane, Mina and Dinia, the defence, the midfield of Gomez, Gay, Walcott on the right, Bernard on the left, Sigurdsson in behind, Richarlison, who actually went back to the left when they played Newcastle. Up until that, he played, I think, about six, seven games in a more central role. So he's reverted to that more central role. Everton in their royal blue shirts and white shorts uh, against the Watford side who are in their change strip. Uh, all green. Green is in vogue, I think, for a number of uh, clubs in the Premier League for their uh, alternative kits. And they have made two changes. Quinner makes his first start in the uh, in the Premier League. He only made his Premier League debut against Manchester City last Tuesday. He comes in for Chalabar. Semmer is the other player who replaces Hughes. He's got a bit of a knock. Likewise for Semmer, it's his first Premier League start. He's played just 74 minutes of Premier League action. So Foster is in goal. A back four of Kiko, Cavasele, Cathcart and Holibas. A midfield of Quinner, Decore and Semmer. And then success Pereira and Dini as the, uh, the Watford players uh, are performing a huddle at the moment in their chain strip of green and we're waiting for them to break from that huddle Chris Sutton yeah and uh, you know you talk about the uh, the team selection the centre forward selection for Everton Richarlison will play centrally what does that tell you about the faith or the lack of faith that he has in Tosin Calvert-Lewin well aside from Richarlison none of those strikers have actually scored for Everton in the Premier League when they've actually started a game so that tells you everything uh, about Everton's misfiring front line so no it was a false start we're going to have to start again a misfiring Somebody, start a misfiring start yeah Kevin Friend was eagle eyed beady eyes almost like a snake as uh, it's it spotted that and uh, we start again at the second time of asking with Everton playing from left to right as we look so therefore they're defending the Gladys Street end of the ground and attacking the park end of the ground and it's with uh, with Mina who plays the ball long up towards uh, Richarlison Cathcart will play it forward Pereira little back heel Quiller takes it on and makes a, a strong run as well Richarlison is uh, back at him and forcing him to turn around and then he plays it across towards Kiko over on that far side they're right back on the uh, the halfway line already both managers are standing up in their technical area as Watford come forward it's Pereira on the right hand side he chips the ball into the penalty area Dini was actually peeling back the right foot it was taken away from Troy Dini who said he was only joking with his uh, his pre-match comments about what he was going to do uh, to Richarlison <laughs> what do you think? 
expected he was going to smash him and he was the enemy well here is Pereira Pereira into the penalty area on the run right footed and never really got enough behind it to trouble Pickford I tell you what, a sharp start from Watford Pereira driving into the box left hand side that was half an opportunity there has been a bright start though from the away side already in the opening 60-70 seconds Gomez now is forward for Everton invites Coleman to come forward level the penalty area on the right hand side back inside to Gomez just touches the ball out for his right foot right corner of the penalty area onto the left foot in comes the cross Camaselli will get there first Pereira lays it off Decore up towards Dini on the stretch and then it's back inside with, uh, with Watford once more Kiko on that right hand side comes under pressure that's one thing that both sides have in common the way that they go high up the pitch to try and win it back and as a result of that certainly one of the key areas that Everton have improved on with the stats this season the amount of possession, possession that they uh, get from high up the field Sigurdsson out to Dinia crosses from the left Walcott actually goes for goal about 12 yards out, directed his header towards the near post. There's a comfortable save for Foster. There's a looping cross from the left-hand touchline from Dinia. Walcott, no real power on the header. Contentious him starting tonight. Walcott, Lookman got his opportunity against Newcastle. And Walcott, his form this season, been slightly inconsistent. Eight games without a goal. It is, however, his 300th Premier League appearance in his... Career for the uh, the England international. Gay in the midfield for Everton. Forward ball. Bernard to Richarlison, his fellow Brazilian. Watford though win the ball up towards success. Back he goes to uh, to Quinner. Central area takes no chances with Sigurdsson running towards him, and Foster's flat delivery is a clearance. He's actually guided back by the head of uh, of uh, Michael Keane, who um, is making his 100th appearance of his. Premier League career, the England international. Yeah, and you, you feel he's just growing in an evident shirt. Certainly didn't hit top form when he first signed from Burnley. Found it difficult, but competition for places now in that centre half area. Gomez with a long searching diagonal ball headed away by Holobas, and it's back in the arms of, of Ben Foster. So tomorrow night all about the Champions League we're live on 5 Live from Anfield just across Stanley Park Liverpool against Napoli for a hugely significant game in, uh, in Group C we'll also have regular updates from the new Camp Barcelona against Spurs vital game of course for, uh, for Tottenham and on Wednesday night Manchester City against Hoffenheim Manchester City already through need a point to top the group what do Spurs need to do? Well, you know you've been doing your homework I'm concentrating on this game. We'll, we'll save that one for tomorrow. All the build-up from seven. Kelly Cates is in the chair, I think. We'll talk about all the permutations. And if Mark wants to ask you that, at half-time he can do exactly that. I know you've got it covered. <laughs> well, that was a, a poor free kick deep in the Watford half. Deeney pulling away on the diagonal. Left-hand side of the box with the ball sailed over his head. And Watford, my tips for relegation at the start of the season Ian they've sort of proved me wrong but they, had, they have had a dip Cardiff City proving you wrong as well well look they're getting carried away with themselves blimey 14 points I think they're getting in the Champions League in Cardiff Olivas Pereira just short of the halfway line caught in possession by Gomez Gomez then loses out to Decore. There was a push there on uh, Decore. Referee Kevin Friend has spotted it. Just as far as uh, Group B is concerned, Barcelona 13 points. Spurs currently second on seven. Inter also have seven, so ideally Tottenham need to go there and win. Because um, you wouldn't expect Inter to slip Inter up win? against PSV. If Inter win and Tottenham win. Well, they're all right, aren't they? Just nice to make it clear Pro to the listeners. Providing that they win. Here is Dini, nil-nil, we've been playing for five minutes. The mischievous Chris Sutton is with us here at Goodison Park and it's a goal kick as Dini was unable to win a corner off those long legs of, uh, of Yeri Mina. So Pickford will take it in front of the Gladys Street end. Yeah. Liverpool, by the way, is a, a much more complicated. A 1-0 win for Liverpool or a 2-0 victory or a margin of two goals and they qualify. But a one-goal margin, 2-1, 3-2 and a Paris Saint-Germain win and they're out. I think is my correct 
understanding yep. of the scenario. You got that right. Thank you. I've got the Chris Sutton seal of approval. Yeah, and Watford have started with a 4-4-2 formation. Success up top alongside Troy Deeney. Real power. Good athlete successes. And look for Deeney to hold the ball in and link the play. Recently signed a new deal last month till 2023. Isaac Success, Coleman. All the noise at the moment is coming from the Watford travelling support. Goodison Park is uh, extremely quiet. Deeney with the interception there. Wins it for Watford, plays it up. He was looking for the run. It's a poor pass of Semmer. It was a poor ball. Everton free kick given away by Cabaselli who wrestled Richarlison to the, uh, to the ground inside that uh, centre circle. Everton have taken the free kick quickly. Yeah, they have, and Silva talking about the performance against Newcastle. Didn't pass the ball quickly enough, he said, in the final third. And it started slowly this evening. Coleman back with, uh, with Keane. Mina across to uh, Tadinia, the left back. Bernard look for the return to... Uh, French international just about kept the ball in play. Senna did well on that uh, that touch line and success was being held. Kevin French says a free kick on the halfway line for Watford as they play from right to left. Yeah, good strength from success. I mean, of putting him under real pressure. Five without a win for uh, for Watford since late October. Only picked up one point out of a possible 15 as well. Started the season so brightly, winning their opening five in all competitions. As a long searching ball into the penalty area, aimed towards Tre Troy Deeney, is in fact a judge to have pushed. I think there, Michael Keane. So that will be a free no, kick. No, I thought. Oh no, he's just given a goal kick. Yeah, and uh, Michael Keane asking the question, saying there was a little nudge, but that was. Half oh, an opportunity that long diagonal ball. I think there was a nudge. Just looking at the replay, Dini heading it wide of goal. Yeah, both hands open wide, pushing him in the uh, in the back. Here is Bernard for uh, for Everton. Short diagonal ball. Sigurdsson able to turn. Looks for Walcott. It's a nice idea. Just pierced the Cathcart, the central defender, and Hollebass on the left hand side, picked up by Foster. He's a craftsman, isn't he, Sigurdsson? I'm going to find that ball and be looking to feed him so he can get on the half turn, get a shot off or slide a ball through to the runners. And in his preferred central position as well, how many times he'd been sacrificed last season because they'd signed so many number 10s. That's where he can hurt teams. Yeah, absolutely right. That's where he's most effective. Nine minutes played. BBC Radio 5 Live at Goodison Park. A very quiet Goodison Park at the moment, 0-0. Yeah, surprisingly quiet. Sometimes it can be a real raucous old stadium, this. Down from the rafters, however, just watching on. They're going to have to hope that something happens in front of them before they can find their voices at Goodison this evening. Here is Gomez. Gay in the ball is given away, but Gay will win it back. Curls it out to Walcott, right-hand side, bounces onto his chest. Walcott have doubled up on him, into the penalty area, gets the return from Sigurdsson. Offside and the flag. Off fly, offside flag's up. I tell you what, had it not gone up, that little reverse ball, lovely touch from Sigurdsson inside the box to Walcott. I mean, it's irrelevant because the, the offside flag went up, but there looked to be contact. And Walcott and the referee would have had a decision to make. It was Holobas who had just uh, clipped him. I think it would have been a penalty as well had the flag not been raised. Even yeah. the offside call was tight. It would Cole... have been a tragedy for the Greek. I'm not even going to make any comment about that. Ten minutes in. Nil-nil. <laughs> Coleman with a throw. Headed away by Holobas. De Corre now with success. Corre wanted it short. They vote to uh, Quinner who uh, turns and eventually finds a De Corre in the centre circle on the halfway line. Ten and a half minutes played. Still nil nil on BBC Radio 5 Live. Gomez, a little bit scrappy over on that far side. Quinner now comes onto the loose ball. De Corre. 
Still missing the suspended Capu. They've given the ball away. Turnover. Richarlison looking towards Sigurdsson into the penalty area. Challenge. Sliding challenge made by Cathcart and then reacted on the floor as well. Just to knock it away from Sigurdsson. That was a timely challenge. So a really important challenge. Couldn't get that wrong. It's a sloppy pass in the Watford back line. And Richarlison sliding a ball to Sigurdsson. Driven into the box and Cathcart went to ground but got the touch, the important touch. And Watford clear it to safety. Throw from Holobas on this near side. Gale headed back to where it came from. Powerful header back by Holobas. Gay directs his header in field. Four to the centre circle is Gomez across to Dinia, the, uh, the left back. Pushes the ball ahead of him. Bernard, it'll flick back inside, he's continued his run, the left back, good play by Everton, cross into the penalty area, Walcott gets too much underneath it, Holobas may well have put him off as well, maybe he looked to break here with Pereira for Watford, the green shirts though have lost out, Pereira's fouled, Coleman, free kick to the home side. And there's all action, Seamus Coleman, but what a sublime touch on the far side of the pitch from Bernard, it'll give and go. Dinya put the ball in Coleman who spoke about recovering the ball in high up the pitch an example there 12 minutes played then nil nil that's the voice of Chris Sutton on BBC Radio 5 Live this free kick is just a matter of yards in from the right touch line Everton are attacking the park end of the ground playing from left to right Sigurdsson is going to take it it's going to be right footed it's going to be an in swinger in it comes now plenty of curl on this and the header in the end is, uh, is well over the top by uh, by Yari Mina. Would have seen him score a goals in the World Cup, the uh, the Colombian. Real threat at set pieces, but it was a header well off target. Yeah, there's a big guy, Yari Mina. Good pace on the delivery from the right-hand touchline. Mina up well. He's an imposing figure, and Watford will have to watch him from set plays. This is his sixth appearance for the, uh, for the club. He actually only made a total of six altogether for uh, for Barcelona, and they signed him uh, in January of this year for ten and a half million pounds. And uh, Everton had to pay just under thirty to acquire his services. Gomez just outside the penalty area. Walcott waits. Walcott now with a cross right hand side. Dinia stabs it into the path of Gomez. S side onto goal and being forced away from the penalty area. But the bearded midfielder keeps hold of the ball. And the Everton supporters applaud for that ball retention. Coleman on this near side. Gay forward to Walcott. Holobas there will get there first. Now Pereira. Pereira infield. Tadini able to turn. Decore in the centre circle. Semmer, the Swedish international. Kiko goes on the overlap. Semmer comes in field. Good footwork. In towards success. Success didn't take it first time. He turns, curls the ball in. And it's hooked away by Everton. Got a shoot, doesn't he? He in success. Right hand side of the box. He goes cross, he's charged down by Bernard. I think when the ball is slid to him, is he eight, ten yards out? From goal has got to shoot there. Turned out and the chance was gone. I mean the angle was tight, but it was certainly a shooting option, wasn't it, to hit it first time? Well, I think you go for power. Take the keeper by surprise. Gay okay, comes forward ball up towards Walcott central area at the moment nobody out wide right looks for Coleman makes good ground to get there as well does Coleman now level the penalty area comes on the inside of Holibas just outside the penalty area Gomez takes it over Gomez to Richarlison and Richarlison buries the ball past Ben Foster against his former club it's his fourth goal and his fourth consecutive Premier League home appearance they will be aware threats and Richarlison with an emphatic finish puts Everton ahead after 15 minutes oh it's a brilliant finish it really is the last couple of minutes Everton just come to life Marco Silva up off his bench applauding the goal it's really well worked Walcott does well initially to release Coleman Coleman marauding down that right hand side he pops the ball into Gomez it's a little suggestion of offside that Walcott leaves it alone for Gomez and no offside to Rennie pulls the ball back to Richarlison but from 10 yards centrally composed finish into the corner of the net against his old team 
must have felt sweet. I think Walcott might just have touched the ball as well to go with, well, because at the, at the first time I was thinking he almost got in the way. Yeah. And if he did touch the ball, then it sh the goal should have been disallowed. Well, with VAR, that goal then would be ruled out because he was offside and it was one touch, but he did touch the ball. Well, it was the, must have been the slightest of touches. He was half a yard offside, Walcott. Watford will feel aggrieved. Well, Rafa Benitez was uh, quite vocal yesterday about the need for VAR. Well, he was wrong. Not, not about the need for VAR, but I thought the, that Mike Dean got those decisions right. Didn't you? Hold on. Holabas comes in for the throw. Oh, now there's an Everton player gone down. It's Walcott. I think he's just been kicked and he's, he's still in the left side at the minute. I, uh, with, with regards to the goal, I would say that the referee got it right. The red card? Sorry, with the red card. Yep. Yes. Yep. Because I thought there was uh, there was a covering. No, yeah, the red card yep. for Yedlin. Yes. Um, oh, not, con not convinced about. Oh, here is Quinner into the penalty area. Oh. Cross the face of goal, and then flying it at the far post. But the flag was up anyway. It wouldn't have counted. That was Deeney. He didn't know that Deeney. That was an incredible miss from Troy Deeney. Albeit the flag did go up. Don't, th don't think the. Everton fans are too happy because Coleman went down but that was an opportunity success left hand side of the box cutting in on his right foot and Dini is marginally offside but from what two yards on the volley balloons the ball off his shin in fact into the stand yeah, that wouldn't have counted anyway, but Coleman is uh, is down. I think it was uh, Success who uh, might have actually fouled uh, Seamus Coleman. He did initially. He's but getting treatment, he's back to his feet now. 1-11. Surely Success has to shoot. I think that was a shot. I don't think he was trying to pick out Deeney. Just seeing that Everton goal again. It's a brilliant finish, but it shouldn't have counted. Well, Richarlison scored five goals in his opening... 13 games in the uh, in the Premier League for uh, for Watford. He then failed to score in his next 28 appearances before he was uh, before he was sold. He's only scored five goals in total. They signed him for 13 million pounds. He then moved on for 40. He's now taken his tally to eight. And uh, it was a fine finish, but I'm sure both managers will be asked afterwards about whether the goal should have stood. Well, it shouldn't. And both of them will say that, I'm sure. 19 minutes played, 1-0. Sigurdsson, taken over by Gomez. He has done ever so well for, for Everton. Really tidy, creative midfielder. Bernard with a cross from the left-hand side. Block is going to come out to Dinia. Plays it in first time. Lovely little oh. flick by Sigurdsson. But Charleston could easily have had a second. What a bit of defending. Holobas, I think it was the left-back. Had he not gone onto that ball, it would have been two. Holobas goes for a ball, looking for success. Flag stays down. Success against Michael Keane. Success gets away from Keane into the penalty area. Edge of the six-yard box. Mina is the one who'll put the ball out of play. And he turns around and straight away with that clearance out of play. Goes for a throw. The assistant referee on the far side looking for a flag that never materialised. Well... It was a strong run from success, powerful run, and the left-hand channel got the better of Keane, had the legs on him. It's um, going to be a throw for Watford, six yards up from the corner flag on this left-hand side, attacking the Gladys Street end of the ground. Holobas arches his back, gets plenty of distance, Deeney heads it on, almost drops towards success cleared away by Everton Richarlison the goal scorer comes back to help out good close control by the Brazilian who was Watford's young player of the year last year but then Cathcart tidies up and outside the centre circle in the Everton half he goes all the way back towards Ben Foster Ben Foster strikes it left footed headed on by Semmer looking towards Dini beaten in the air by Mina Watford will come again success central area just outside the D goes down free kick direct free kick for Watford he's looked a handful hasn't he 
success. Good little shift there. Drew the challenge from Gomez, I think it was. And yes, this is a, an opportunity for Watford. 25 yards out. Yep. Pretty, pretty well, the left hand side of the Everton area. Would be level with Jordan Pickford's left hand post. Pereira is uh, is there. Holobas as well, if he wants to strike it with the left foot. Pereira hasn't scored or indeed made an assist at the start of the game in six hours and 33 minutes. But he is going to try and eye this one up. If he was to strike it with the right foot, Holobas is also there with his left foot. What do you think? I'm, I'm thinking, going lefty. I'm going Holobas too. I think the angle, because it's fractionally right of centre, suits the left foot of Holobas. Pereira leaves it. Holobas now eyeing it up, strikes it into the top of the wall, cleared away by Gay. Everton lead by a goal to nil. We're almost midway through the first half on BBC Radio 5 Live. Here is Quinner, charged down by Richarlison, applauded by Marco Silva. It's a poor free kick from Holobas. A good decision from Marco Silva to play Richarlison as a centre forward. Now you can hear the Everton voices. Well, about time. Very flat, wasn't it, at the it start was. of the game? It was extremely flat, which is surprising given their form at home this season. They picked up 17 points out of 24. That's a good return. As uh, Everton are looking to go into the top six of the Premier League tonight, leading by a goal to nil. Poor ball by Caracelli. Gives it away. Mina. Just outside the centre circle, Coleman is forward on this near side, the right. Marco Silva turns away in frustration, actually slaps his right hand against his right thigh. He wanted that ball early towards Coleman. Walcott, though, now on the attack to Richarlison, back towards Gomez. Stepping out of defence was Semmer. The midfielder back there helping out. Now this is Bernard, twists one way, onto his left foot with a cross, headed away by Cabaselli. Gomez heads it back. Dinia plays it forward. Bernard, left-hand side and it's marshalled out safely for a goal kick as Everton still lead by uh, by a goal to nil I like him Bernard clever player flair player out on that left hand side and he's got a yard as well got that little burst of pace but Everton look more of a threat now don't they moving the ball quickly through the midfield Walcott getting into the game there's a better balance about Everton this season isn't there I think Gomez has made a huge difference. Out of the club's hands, I think Marco Silva said about Gomez. If they could hang on to him. The only thing is, it's a seasonal loan from Barca. There is no option to buy, and he has a 100 million euro release clause. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much out of their hands it is. Well, he has made a difference. This is his eighth appearance tonight. Very, very tidy, the Portuguese international. 24 minutes played. Watford looking for an equaliser. They have a free kick. Quite central. Midway through the Everton half. Holobas to take it. Headed away by Sigurdsson. It's going to come out to Kiko, the right back. Looks to go on the outside of Gomez. Does so. But uh, Gay blocks the cross. Watford throw. About eight yards up from the, uh, the corner flag on that far side as they attack the Gladys Street end of the ground. Watford are playing all in green. On a big night or a big week of live football on BBC Radio 5 Live with the Champions League action tomorrow. It's going to be a, one of those great European nights, I'm sure, at, uh, at Anfield. Liverpool against Napoli. They certainly know how to whip up a frenzy on European nights at Anfield. It won't be quiet across Stanley Park tomorrow, I can assure you. Barcelona against Spurs as well. Semmer turns, crosses. Pickford though luminous goalkeeping outfit collects and then looks for the early release and his distribution was a little bit too long and that's sometimes you don't say very often about that for Jordan Pickford no very good with his feet he nearly kicked it straight into Ben Foster's box just one bounce out to Kiko on that far side uh, Decore and then back with uh, with Ben Foster again. It's because Everton are just forcing Watford back. Foster with a clearance. Coleman beats success in the air. He's hopping mad there, is Javi Gracia. It's 
we said last week we did the commentary from uh, from Vicarage Road the uh, extension four and a half year new deal first manager under the Pozzos to sign an extension as Walcott turns in the penalty area and in fact it was taken away from him just as he peeled back the right foot corner kick to Everton yeah it was a really nice pass from Sigurdsson weighted into Walcott right hand side of the box and I thought he should have laid the ball off to Gomez who was in a shooting position I think it was Cathcart who got back and poked the ball behind for an Everton corner 26 minutes played the unmistakable voice of Chris Sutton on BBC Radio 5 Live. Sigurdsson with the outswinging corner, headed away by success. Bernard plays it back out to this near right touch line. Sigurdsson wraps his foot around that. They were looking towards Yerry Mina, but in fact, Yerry Mina, um, it's going to be a free kick and a yellow card. He must have gone that with his hand, touched it with his hand, Yerry Mina. What a ball that was, though, from Sigurdsson. Receives at one touch, out of his feet. And Mina has whipped in. So much pace on the ball. Yeah, and Mina <laughs> outstretched. Left arm of Mina. He was never getting there with his head. And good decision from the referee. Mind you, Decore, who stabbed in uh, a goal for Watford against Manchester City. That was the first time that the Decore had scored since he handled one, you might remember, last January against Southampton. But this time Mina was, uh, was spotted. And a yellow card was shown by Kevin Friend. 1-0 Everton lead, Chris. Yeah, good hunting from Everton. Again, pressure on the Watford midfield. Walcott stole the ball and was then brought down. He's looked lively, Walcott, on this right-hand side. It's a competition for places now with Lookman. He's the only Everton player who um, has played now in all 18 games if you include this one because he hasn't started them all but he's the only one to feature in all 18 as uh, Everton lead by a goal to nil with Gay out towards that far side it'll flick up into the air by Dinia with Charleston thought he was going to say he was fouled from behind but the referee Kevin Friend had a good view of that and quickly waved away those uh, appeals well he's no friend of Charleston's there and it was Cabaselli there's a risky challenge Charleston backing into him here is uh, Coleman coming forward strong run down the right hand side Holobas leans into him last touch off Holobas that'll be a corner kick again good play by Coleman because to be fair to him he had very little else on no, he's all action though isn't he unbelievable energy and drive commitment and he wins a corner and always a threat with Sigurdsson's delivery so Everton lead by a goal to nil we're approaching the half hour corner kick on the near side the right Sigurdsson to take it clutch of players go for the same ball comes out to Dinia and his left footed volley is hammered into the park end away to our right hand side 1-0 Everton oh, mind the windows there from Dinia just couldn't get over it Foster then to, uh, to take the goal kick Starting to establish himself, though, isn't he, as, uh, as a left back? Leighton Baines is uh, is on the bench, but you've got two very attack-minded fullbacks, and he likes that in his side. Does uh, does Marco Silva? He likes to have pace. He likes to have attacking options. Certainly increase the tempo and the speed, the way that uh, Everton play their football. As success with a cross takes a deflection, Gomez will clear it away from inside the penalty area Richarlison again thought he was being held by Cabaselli no foul there for me Richarlison uses his body very well but Cabaselli just too strong Gay the way that the game is being played you feel that there are more goals though in this one oh, absolutely did you hear the gentleman oh headed by Holobas almost led him Richarlison Cathcart was alert to it did you hear the gentleman in the press box so uh, the press room ahead of kickoff who thought it might have been goalless this one <laughs> who was that I don't know he's opinionated Coleman is, uh, is down at the moment just mm. on his haunches it doesn't look good Marco Silva has just wandered to the uh, the technical area just to make sure he's okay he's fit to continue he's going to jog down the touchline to take a throw on this near side the right level the penalty area 
keep an eye that on uh, on Seamus Coleman. He finds Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson's turn blocked. Hooks away then by Pereira. Headed back by Gay. Here is Quinno on his first Premier League start and then plays it forward and out of play. It drifts for a throw to uh, to Everton. You're just going back to the, the man in the press room who thought that would be nil-nil. I think Everton only two goals in the last four games and Watford haven't scored too many either. But said for a reason. Everton's goal though means that they've continued their record of scoring against Watford offside against success. It means they've never failed to score against Watford now in their 12 league games at Goodison. That uh, aforementioned gentleman clearly hadn't done his homework. <laughs> 13 minutes well, to go. With you and just watching the ball through to success. He goes marginally early there. Just peeling away in that left-hand channel. That was an opportunity. It's 1-0 to Everton, BBC Radio 5 Live. Cavaselli having to deal with Richarlison. Quinner comes to help out, lays it out towards Kiko. Chips it long, looking towards success. Mina though will beat him in the air. Loose ball is picked up by Gay, who turns central position, midway through his own half, and back with Keane. He does a good job, Gay. Yeah. Gomez gives the ball away. That was sloppy. And then equally, success has given it back to Everton. Just when Javi Grafia might have been thinking that they could have built on uh, Andre Gomez's lax distribution. Here is Bernard, diminutive, short of the halfway line. Ball goes straight through to Foster. He was looking for Walcott. That run, which we've seen him make so many times. On the right-hand side, in between full-back and centre-half. The goal from Richarlison against his former club is the difference as Everton still had the slender lead as Sigurdsson has spotted Foster off his goal line. He must have been ooh, 10, 12 yards inside the Watford half. It was an ambitious effort but in the end it just drifted well, well wide. No problems at all for, uh, for Foster. That was a bit like David Beckham but 30 yards closer and, uh, and not the execution. And Foster, who was once beaten by another goalkeeper, you might recall, at White Hart Lane. Paul Robinson, many years ago, who had a, an enormous kick and beat Foster. So he's not going to be beaten from that range. Sigurdsson will have to do his homework better. 1-0. Here is Pereira. Pereira is pushed from behind. Free silly. kick. Silly. Really silly challenge. Needless challenge from Theo Walcott. Pereira going absolutely nowhere. The left hand side back to play near the touchline. We've got some big guys, Watford. The Cathcarts come up from the back. Decore's there. Dini, success. Semmer waits just outside the, uh, the D of the penalty area. Free kick to be taken left hand side. Hollabas curls this one in and Pickford gathers it in on his six yard area. It's good goalkeeping, but Hollabas, his delivery's been poor. From dead ball situations. Too close to the goalkeeper for you. That's his third one he's got wrong. Pickford came, collected it on the edge of the six-yard line. Coleman just over the halfway line, gets it back from uh, from Walcott. Sigurdsson again had, uh, had made the run and once more, he just his body language is one of frustration for Marco Silva because players are making the runs. Yet on a couple of occasions, the players haven't spotted those runs. All of the side, it's been on this right-hand side for uh, for Everson. Here is Coleman. Sigurdsson finds a bit of space on the halfway line. Down the right touch line, it goes to Walcott. Coleman's continued his run. Walcott, though, waits, comes inside, holds on to the ball, and flicks it on the outside of Quinner. Hollebass was alive to the danger. Pereira for Watford, who are all in green, playing from right to left. Good challenge made by Coleman. Quinner, though, will win it back and then gives it away towards Walcott. Walcott now running at Hollebass. Hollebass stands up to him and wins the ball. Good, clean challenge. Hollebass continues to run forward. Out to success. Success now comes in off this left touch line and barged over by, my, uh, by Michael Keane. He just lent into him. Yeah, but success has been too much for Keane. Faced him up, left-hand channel, drives at him. I think there is contact. He goes down, another opportunity, but he's the one who looks a real handful success. I said a, a point to prove, disregarded by Marco Silva at Watford. 
Well, Seamus Coleman at the minute is the one getting the talking to, despite the fact that it was Keane who gave away the foul. The Everton captain might have just had a... spoke a little bit out of turn there to Kevin Friend. Well, I think he's saying soft free kick. I think he put his arm out and lent into him and it was... it was needless by Michael Keane. I think he knew that success had the, had the beating of him. Free kick for, uh, for Watford. Pereira strokes it to... Uh, to Quinner. Quinner then chips the ball to the right hand side of the penalty area, headed on by Kiko, headed away, comes back to Kiko, listed into the penalty area on the half volley, fisted away by Pickford under pressure, comes back, headed away by Keane. From inside the penalty area, out of play it goes for a Watford throw. Well, Jordan Pickford's furious, he's saying that was he was fouled. Kiko runs forward, last touch came off the Watford right back, it'll be an Everton throw. 37 minutes played, Everton still lead by a goal to nil. It was Cavaselli who had uh, challenged Pickford. Yeah, he's quite entitled to make a challenge there. Goalkeepers overprotected, aren't they? If I knew one thing, I knew that you wouldn't be part of the goalkeepers' union. Well, you're, you're saying that that was unacceptable, no, not, that challenge. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that I didn't think you'd be part of the goalkeepers' union. <laughs> My word. <laughs> He's quite entitled to go for that ball. And Pickford, he's not the biggest. I don't disagree with you. Here's Pereira picking up the ball. Out towards Semmer. Right side of the penalty area. Oh, just like he was impeded a little bit. He still worked over the cross. Pereira with a header just wide. He was in mark two. Goal kick. Chance of an equaliser. Everton still 1 0 up. What a chance. Semmer out on this right hand side. Chops in on his left foot. And he whips a really good ball in. And that is a golden opportunity wasted by Pereira. Heads it wide of Pickford's right-hand post. All the pace was on the cross. He just had to direct the header. Got it all wrong. The trouble is, with Mark said beforehand about Watford being on this poor run of form. And I've seen Watford a lot lately. Saw them at Newcastle, where they were the better team in the first half. Should have probably won the game. The chances that they wasted. Dale Afeo culpable at St James's Park they rallied late against Manchester City could easily maybe have got something out of the game although they wouldn't have deserved it but before that Deeney had a chance in the first half against Manchester City they're going to have to start taking the chances Watford otherwise they're, they're not saying they're going to be sucked into the relegation zone but they're not going to be able to kick on into the top 10 they won two of their last 19 away from home but that was a free header for Pereira yeah and uh in the spot on got to be clinical guilt edged that opportunity currently 13th in the table on 20 points as success to uh, to Decore helps it on towards Kiko plays it in early might come back to Dini blocked though was a good one by Gomez just inside the penalty area Watford keep the ball alive back out towards the right cross comes in Mina is stretching behind it goes for a corner kick to Watford who trailed by a goal to nil good little spell for Watford Dini coming into the game it's a timely interception from Gomez as Dini looks set to get a shot off on the edge of the box Holobas has gone across to take the corner kick on that right-hand side as Watford attacked the Gladys Street end of the ground for those of you who've been here to, to Goodison Park. So this is going to be an in-swinging free kick from the Watford left-back. Pereira, Decore, all in there. Dini, success too. And it comes now, aimed towards Dini. Uh, Pickford got something on it. Hooked away then by the left foot of... Gay comes out towards Quinner, goes long, hoisted back towards Holobas, flags up, offside, free kick to uh, to Everton, who are one nil up. And Pickford again with the punch, didn't look too convincing, and Holobas had that timely interception early on where Richarlison looks set to score, but in terms of delivery, he's not been on the money tonight. Do you think there have been elements of Watford's performance that will encourage Javi Grathier? Well, I think so. You think that was a big opportunity, wasn't it, from Pereira? I think Javi Grathier, he'll feel hard done by the nature of Everton's goal as well. The Walcott offside. It was just the one touch by Walcott, but he did touch it. He was in an offside position as Gomez 
It is uh, ever so well to Bernard. Bernard looking to turn. He's going to come under pressure from Quina. That was uh, 2020. The two number 20s doing battle. Everton push on now with 23. Coleman out to Walcott, right corner of the penalty area. Coleman's continued his run into the penalty area. Walcott, those hangs on to the ball. They've doubled up on him now as well, and Walcott's going to struggle to get past Troy Deeney. And Deeney does well on the defensive duties to clear up towards success. Stabbed forward, though, by Mina. Gomez, the calming influence in the, uh, in the midfield for Everton. Keen to, uh, to Gay, and Gay goes all the way back to, uh, to Jordan Pickford as we've got three and a half minutes to go to half time 1-0 to Everton on five lines yeah I tell you what though Ian Walcott as Richarlison nearly gets on the end of a through ball is offside anyway but I think a confident Theo Walcott in that situation ball at his feet one on one would just get his head down and drive at Hollybass the fact that he hesitated and took his time tells you where he's at yep he's um eight games with, uh, without a goal he's uh, probably just needing a, another one to, uh, to give his confidence a little bit of a, of a boost it wasn't that he was uh, missed the Newcastle game because uh, of poor form he was just rested so along with Bernard and Keane the three players to come back into the side after that 1-1 draw against uh, Rafa Benitez's side as Sigurdsson now picks up this loose ball on the halfway line Dini makes the run ahead of him back towards Sigurdsson Sigurdsson with a shot and comes off the legs of Kafkan behind for a goal kick good break by Everton corner that they have yeah it was and it, it was a, a perfectly weighted pass from Dini when he was released by Sigurdsson and the left hand side Sigurdsson takes a touch, his first touch he gets a little bit stuck under his feet and doesn't get the power on the shot so it's going to be a corner kick for Everton, who lead by a goal to nil. Richarlison against his former club with the well-taken goal after 15 minutes that still is the difference. Sigurdsson with the corner, headed away by success, brought down off the chest by Pereira, hooks it over the head of, of Gay, unable to take it forward was Decore. Coleman then will bring the ball back with Everton to Walcott goes on the inside of Holobas he's done well inside now from Quinner Walcott still going but Quinner to his credit recovered well and had to to win the ball back for Watford but that was brighter and much better from Theo Walcott and much more direct yeah absolutely that's him at his best wonderful first touch and then driving pace and power and Quinner did well there will be an additional 60 seconds to be added on when we get there eventually we're currently in the 44th minute BBC Radio 5 Live with Everton looking to go above Manchester United into the top six of the of the Premier League and you think when they started play today they were closer to the bottom than they were to the top of the of the Premier League free kick to Watford the Corey to take it downfield it goes headed away by Gomez headed back by Holobas for the green shirts Gomez again Holobas sweeps it back in on the half volley cleared then by Keane inside the penalty area thought success might have just fouled Dina Javi Gracia says no foul and in fact no foul is awarded and the ball goes long up towards Dini who gets an outstretched foot to that and it just runs wide that was a close one the boos are ringing round I think Kevin Friend should have stopped the game I don't think it was a foul but it was a head knock and he allowed the play to go on and there's one ball in behind the evident back line and Deeney not far away on the stretch right footed just ball creeps agonisingly past Jordan Pickford's left hand post well that was uh, route one from, uh, from Everton in the end it was probably about a good foot wide the locals wouldn't have been happy at all they've bad that foot goal. bad foot for Watford the fourth official has indicated will be 60 seconds that were going in additional time. which we're now into here at Goodison Park and that difference from uh, Richarlison is the goal that separates the two there's a lot of uh, supporters in front of us uh, not going to wait for the referee Kevin Friend to blow his whistle yeah, they're going to try and get their half-time bovel and beat the queue Gomez runs away from him Dini then will take full advantage looks for the run of success success then goes down by Mina now Mina 
Well, he's on a yellow card. Absolutely. Well, well, I tell you what, Kevin Friend, if you're saying success has dived, you have to book him. Quite I, right. I thought there was contact. I did. And Mina, if there was contact, he should he should have gone. Well, it, you could there also, is contact. You could also say as well. It could have been a straight red. A straight red for the denying of a goal scoring opportunity. Absolutely. You, you might argue about that when he was running away from goal, but regardless, it was, should have been a second yellow. That's a let off. The half time whistle is sounded. Sigurdsson has just rattled the post after the referee's whistle has flown. That was why there is the groan from the crowd. But Yeri Mina should not be on the field of play. No, he shouldn't. And just watching, Javi Gracia is walking on the pitch towards the referee. Has turned round now. He is livid with that decision. It was a really poor decision. Kevin Friend, not a friend of Watford. And they will feel robbed, first of all offside, evidence goal, and then that's a big moment, Ian Well, it is a big moment, and Yerimina, who was booked earlier in the game, regardless whether you think it should have been a straight red or a second yellow he should not be on the field of play Watford can certainly feel hard done by by that decision, as they trail by a goal to nil at the break There is another scenario as well, though, that um, Red Star could finish third yet, if they were to win and Liverpool were to lose Mm. Yes. <laughs> the teams are out. Neither side has um, made any changes. Everton lead by a goal to nil. Richarlison's goal after 15 minutes, but the uh, the talking point is still over Yeri Mina, who's uh, on the field of play. And in fact, Kevin Friend is having a, a strong talking to. In fact, he's having a word with with Lee Mason. His uh, his fourth official so there's uh, the assistant referee is also involved as well not too sure what that's about it's been a lengthy conversation though with Kevin Friend and, uh, and Lee Mason anyway play is set to resume so Everton have Pickford in goal a back four of Coleman, Keane, Mina and Dina Gomez and Gay in the centre of midfield Walcott on the right Sigurdsson in the centre Bernard on the left behind Richarlison the goal scorer as Watford get this second half underway Everton are in their royal blue shirts and white shorts. Watford are in their chain strictly all green. Therefore, they're defending the Gladys Street end and playing from left to right up towards Deeney. And then uh, ball towards success will be cleared away by Deeney. So the, the Watford side is Foster in goal. Kiko, Cavaselli, Cathcart and Holobas, the defence for, work for Watford. Quina, Decore and Semmer. In the midfield, success, Pereira and uh, Andini. And I think there was just some ironic cheers from the, uh, the Everton supporters that a decision went in their favour. Watford would argue that they've already had a decision going in the favour, the fact that Mina is still on the field of play. Mm. And the goal. And the goal. <laughs> Walcott. Back he goes to, uh, to Keane, delivers it to Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson on the half turn, plays it across to Coleman. Cathcart though waits for the ball to settle and in the end takes no chances puts the ball out of play for a throw oh, he did the right thing didn't he Charleston who had blocked the, the route off back to Foster and Sigurdsson gave him no option just a reminder tomorrow our Champions League coverage starts at 7 from Anfield live on BBC Radio 5 Live as the ball is played up towards success but it's always going to kick on away from him and in front of those loyal Hardy Souls who've made the long trek up from uh, from Hertfordshire it goes out of play for an Everton throw which Coleman eventually will uh, will take talk about their uh, the lack of goals I'll tell you what they have been good at of late Everton they've been very very uh, economical they've only conceded six in their last nine coming into this uh, this game the success goes on the outside of Mina and Mina recovers and concedes the corner with an outstretched right leg not for the first time success being a handful yep and he's had good success in the first half and he's the one who's looked at a real threat physical presence and caused problems and Mina just prodding that ball behind corner kick then for, uh, for Watford once again, the atmosphere inside Goodison is a little bit flat at the start of the second half, as it was at the start of the first. Holobas to take the corner. It's high. It's an outswinger. 
headed away by Everton. And Dinia then will clatter that downfield. It's a big up and under. And Walcott and Richarlison both chase after it in hot pursuit of that bouncing ball, but it goes out of play for a, a Watford throw. Three minutes into the uh, into the second half. Holabas is going to take it for uh, for Everton. Oh, yeah, this is the time you're looking at the at the Watford venture into the second half. That creativity with the likes of De La Feu on that bench. Formerly of, uh, of Everton as well. There's plenty, plenty of subplots to this uh, to this game. Somebody said it's the Zed Cars derby. When they said, "Don't mention that to uh, to Evertonians; they don't like it." And can we just be clear? That wasn't me who <laughs> said that. Pickford to uh, to Gomez. The delay was because the officials were having communication problems with their headsets, but we've been told by the Premier League that it's been resolved. So that was the uh, the reason for the the delay at the start of the second half with Kevin Friend and Lee Mason, the fourth official. Coleman plays the ball forward. Clearance off Cathcart's left foot goes out of play for an Everton throw on that far side, the right. Four minutes into the second half for Charleston's goal. Separates the two, Decore. This will be a fourth straight defeat for Watford. Cavaselli across to this near side for Kiko. Comes on the inside of Bernard. Ball though given away. Sigurdsson tried to play it back towards Richarlison. Cavaselli was covering the, uh, the absent right back. Gale win the ball and out of play it goes for a Watford throw. And that's a that's a feature you touched on it in the first half. That high press from Everton. They don't sit back. That means that there's an onus on guy just sitting in front of that back four to shuffle across and he's had a good game. Cleared things up in there for Everton. If you were to look at the stats this season, Everton are as just as effective as the high press as Manchester City are with Pep Guardiola. Coleman on the right-hand side, midway through the Watford half. Walcott now takes over. Gomez plays it over the top, looking towards Coleman, and it'll be a goal kick to Watford. And that is a good stat. That's a very good stat. Normally, sit with commentators and there's a lot of meaningless stats, but that was a good one. Thank you. Well done. Although you weren't going to defend the uh, the goalkeepers' union, I feel I should defend the commentators' union. <laughs> we need to stick together. There's not many of us left. Six minutes into the second half, still one nil to Everton. Richarlison can't lay the ball off. Not much support around him. Played up by uh, Kiko to uh, to Semmer, the Swedish international, who'll win a throw off the legs of uh, Bernard. Here is uh, Richarlison. There he is again, uh, winning that ball back. Semmer. Decore to, uh, to Kiko. Kiko then back with uh, Decore. Animated Marco Silva wants those blue shirts back behind the ball. I imagine it means uh, a lot for, uh, for Marco Silva. I'm sure you know the, uh, the story for when... Uh, Ronald Koeman departed at Goodison, made the approach, was it, last November, was turned down, but his head had been turned, form really did tail off, only picked up five points in his last 11 games when he was the uh, the Watford manager, and um, going for an independent commission, might well rumble on into the uh, to the new year, certainly unlikely to have a resolution this side of, uh, of Christmas. Well, he was the guy who kicked the Hornets' nest, and now his Everton team are beating them. Here is uh, Dinia. Dinia is forward. I'm just going to start ignoring all of those bad puns. Quina. Back with uh, Kiko. Everton again high up the pitch, but they'll try and bypass that uh, that press. Dini then looks towards success. Up against Mina. Comes off the legs of uh, Mina and Walcott is back there helping out. He's the one. He stays a little higher. Success. With Dini just working in and around him. Success has that pace, that threat. And I was telling you about the stat about Watford, uh, sorry, about Everton's high press and being so effective as it goes out of a play, uh, out of play for a throw. 
producer George said made a note and he says tell you about the the, uh, the length of the grass at the Etihad Stadium what George doesn't realise is that I've already bored you about that in the press room beforehand it's not relevant to uh, to Everton against Watford well, we had a right laugh talking about the length <laughs> of the grass at the Etihad what a pre-match I bet you use it on another outlet don't you worry Cavaselli I'll be listening if you do I expect the, uh, the royalties here is Pereira Seeing a lot of the ball, Watford, as they look for an equaliser. Trailing by a goal to nil. BBC Radio 5 Live. Quina gives it away. Then looks to redeem himself by winning it back. And in fact was fouled. Free kick taken quickly. Pereira comes from deep to success. The return ball to Pereira. Success with his back to goal. Tries to turn. Fouled by Yeri Mina. Well, I think he bought that one. Success, but he's so strong. Backing in to Mina. Takes the ball in really well. He has been a real handful. I think he goes down too easily. Yes, he and that's, does. And that's a soft one. Maybe. Was that in Kevin Friend's mind, the first half? Where he didn't give Watford a couple of decisions. What a chance this is. Just a matter of yards outside the penalty area. It's right of centre. Now, even for Pereira's right foot, he's got to go around the four-man wall to try and beat Pickford at Pickford's left-hand post, who's standing up against that left-hand post now, his left-hand post. And in fact, Everton have now added an extra blue shirt on the end, albeit Bernard, who's not the tallest. Semmer, no, it is going to be Pereira. He hits the side netting. And in fact, the Watford supporters, who are on the other side of the ground, actually thought it crept in past Pickford but it's a goal kick <laughs> isn't it childish that the, the Watford fans go up they think he scored Pereira and then the Everton fans in the stand below us go up mocking the Watford fans goal kick from, uh, from Pickford and uh, comes off the head of Coleman and goes straight out of play Everton haven't really got going in this second half. No, they were flat at the start of the first half as well. I think Marco Silva will want that second goal. Get a bit of daylight. Pickford, poor distribution again from him. Dini headed away by Cathcart. Dini will give chase. Dini then goes against Coleman. And uh, shoulder barge between the two. Fair old challenge. It's going to be a Watford throw. Well, if we start to lose those challenges, then the game's gone, surely. Yeah, and it's, it's Coleman and it's Deeney, shoulder to shoulder. I don't think Coleman really protests. Just bounced off uh, Troy Deeney. It was a... Most do. 50-50 shoulder march. Good contest. In comes the throw. Downward header. Hasn't been dealt with. The core right down into the ground. Strikes Bernard. Loops behind for a corner kick. Well, Decore, head in his hands, he should score this, it's not dealt with, I say he should score it, it's, it's a fortunate block I think from Dinya, hits him, he knows nothing about it, Decore, eight yards out. Corner taken quickly and short on the right hand side, Kiko floats it over into the penalty area, headed away by Yerimina, picked back up by Holobas. his first touch is to take the ball away from Sigurdsson, coming across is Gomez, concedes a another corner kick over on that far side well it's Watford who have come out of the traps in this second half they're the ones piling on the pressure another corner on that far side the left as Watford play from left to right attacking the park end of the ground looking for an equaliser Pereira is the player who places the ball down in the quadrant Kevin Friend was saying to Walcott he wasn't 10 yards away. Pereira then knocks it back towards Quina. Couple of touches. Doesn't beat the first man. Blocked by Bernard. Might break towards Sigurdsson. Holobas was covering. Flick then forward by Semmer. 30 yards out from goal. Dini towards success. Success. Bouncing ball. Dini now takes it over. Comes back towards Troy Dini. Beaten away by Pickford. Low, smart save down to his right hand side behind for a throw. But Rock Watford now putting pressure on Everton. Oh, it's all Watford. Dini gets a break, tries to feed the ball in. I think it's two success in the centre, but the ball 
ricochets off an Everton defender and as Dini, 18 yards out, outside of the right foot, tries to find the far corner and Pickford gets down to his right hand side, a smart save, it's the ball away to safety. Gomez is down at the moment and he's getting some treatment so there will be uh, a stoppage in, uh, in play. Here's Gomez who inadvertently poked the ball into Troy Dini's party, nipped the ball off success and he gets caught and success on the follow through and you feel us coming for Watford he struck it well didn't he with the outside of the right foot he did I wonder whether he did the right thing taking that with his right foot it wasn't far away though it was a good save from Pickford Dale Lefeo is going to be coming on for uh, for Watford there are many uh, subplots between these two sides he 46 appearances and four goals in his two years at, uh, at Everton which is a, a disappointing return really when you consider the uh, the talent for the uh, for the young Spaniard who's been plagued by foot and groin injuries this season it certainly was wasteful when I saw him at St James's Park earlier in the campaign but uh, it's an attacking move from Javi Grafia and given the fact that Richarlison has scored against his former club the way that sometimes football works out, you wouldn't at all be surprised to see Dale Lefeo pop up on the score sheet tonight as he waits, as still the treatment is being applied to uh, to Andre Gomez. Substitution for Watford. The change is going to be made, and it's going to be Semmer who's coming off as well. So uh, up until today, the 25-year-old Swedish international had made a total of 74 minutes in the uh, in the Premier League. This was his first Premier League start, and he's lasted nearly an hour. But it's, uh, it's an attacking change. Pereira, I'd imagine, will probably go more central. And Gomez has come off the side of the pitch. So temporarily, Everton are down to ten men. But they still lead by a goal to nil. Been playing for an hour. Tomorrow night we're at Anfield. Champions League coverage on five live from seven o'clock. High ball put in from Cathcart. Too deep. In fact, it bounces out of play and it'll be a goal kick for uh, for Jordan Pickford well that's not his game is it it's a really awful pass way off mark from Cathcart that's Watford who have started this second half much to stronger and they look the, the likelier team to score well they need to start taking chances to uh, to Watford when he scored nine goals in their last 11 in the uh, in the Premier League Kevin Friend is having a word with who's it speaking to there. It was, a, it was a short goal kick from Pickford. The ball didn't go out of the box. So he's told them to take it again. Pickford this time goes long. Both the central defenders had dropped either side of the penalty area, but Watford had put pressure on them so they prevented a short option being taken again the ironic cheers from the Everton supporters which in itself is ironic given what's happened um, free kick taken for the home team 61 minutes played on five live and then Mina goes back and Marco Silva stamps his foot in frustration he's talking to himself he's not happy he's not cutting a happy figure at all the 41 year old Portuguese manager no little shrug there once again Pickford's distribution do you think he was a is the type to, to get affected by that mistake at Liverpool Ian no I don't um, speaking to him on several occasions with England I, I think he's a very very confident young man and I think he's got the ability just to put that behind him agreed here is uh, Decore outside the centre circle Watford on top in the second half little slip from Dinia picked up by De La Feo out towards Kiko first time cross from the right Pereira hits the post and the rebound it goes in strike of good fortune as Watford equalised after 62 minutes Coleman will be credited with the own goal 1-1 well unfortunate for Everton see Seamus Coleman shaking his head but Watford have deserved this have come out the far stronger team in the second half as well worked down the right hand side and the cross that finds Deeney who takes it on the half volley he thinks it's in 
get the ball. Cannons off the post. Hits Coleman. And goes into the back of the Everton net. Watford have deserved this. Well, they have been the much brighter of the two sides in the second half. And for Pereira, he will get the assist just past the hour mark. So that's his first... Well, we said before he hadn't scored or made an assist in six hours and 33 minutes. He's changed that statistic. Although you've got to feel for Coleman because he was helpless with a rebound coming back off the left-hand post, just striking his legs and seeing the rebound go into the back of the net. But for, uh, for Watford, thoroughly deserves. Yeah, they've been the positive team in this second half. Come on, shown they mean business. Dale Afeo chips it, a little dink ball forward towards success. Now buoyed by that goal, they'll look to try and kick on. Marco Silva, I think, is going to make a change. He's looking down the line, whether he's got two substitutes warming up. Cenk Tosun is one of them. Calvert Lewin, I think, is the other who's been called forward as well. They haven't been able to get up the pitch. Lookman as well is going to be coming yeah. on too. But they've not, they said it in commentary, they've just not got started in this second half, Everton. No, they haven't, and tells you everything the manager's had enough. Here is Pereira. Pereira crosses the ball deep, downward header! Decore with a downward header! And in a matter of minutes, what but have completely turned the game on its head. They've come from behind, and with the Corre second of the season, they lead by two goals to one. Well, I think Everton feel hard done by with the award of the free kick, but as Pereira down the right-hand side hangs the ball up to the far post, and De Corre powers a header in. He attacks the ball at the far post. Says, get out of the way, I'm going to make this mine. Heads it down into the floor. And Watford a sting in the tail there it's a brilliant header Ian it really is he wants to make it his own Decore gets up textbook header and Watford are in front they deserve it certainly do we said that Everton haven't got going and Watford have taken full advantage two goals in rapid fire time but the way that Pereira just stood that ball it seemed to hang in the air and then you've got somebody like Decore running onto it he was like a basketball player ready to do a slam dunk the way that he came bounding in. Powerful downward header. And, and the pace wasn't on the ball. It was stood up beautifully, but he still had work to do. Generated his own power. Those neck muscles back, bang, so into the floor. Everton, Brilliant header. Calvert-Lewin then is going to replace Bernard. We've already had Luckman come on for, uh, for Walcott there. The two changes that have been made by Marco Silva. And this Everton side, who are very strong at home, they've only lost one of 11 at home in the Premier League, now find themselves behind in the penalty. Yerry Mina, of all people, question marks who should still be on the pitch after what happened late in the first half, a judge to have been bundled over, and Kevin Friend, without any hesitation, well. gives a penalty kick in front of the Gladys Street end. It's, Ca it's Cabaselli, long throw. There are, it's a, it's a daft challenge. Kevin Friend in a good position. It's clumsy. Kevin Friend, a perfect view of it. He awards the penalty. I think he's got that one right, Ian. It was a clumsy challenge, wasn't it? He couldn't win the ball, Cavaselli. Mina stood his ground, but what a chance this is for Sigurdsson. Gilpie Sigurdsson waits in front of the Gladys Street end. On his 50th appearance for Everton. He's already scored from the spot against Manchester United. It's only a short run-up. Sigerson waits for the referee's whistle. 50th appearance for the club. Sigerson now gets the go-ahead. And saved by the legs of Ben Foster. And Watford still lead by two goals to one in this dramatic second half at Goodison Park. Oh, brilliant Ben Foster Sigerson short run up tries to go down the middle but Foster gets his left foot to it it's a brilliant save he's going to his right what a moment Watford who have never won at Goodison Park 
that have failed to score in their previous six have come from behind to lead by two goals to one. That's Big Ben, isn't it, there, in the Watford goal. Brilliant he was against Manchester City. And once again, saving his team. Man of the match against Manchester City for Watford last season. That's how well he played to, uh, at times, keep out the champions before eventually they were had a 2-0 lead before Decore's late goal made it interesting at Vicarage Road last Tuesday. Well, Everton... They're going to have to set up a, an interesting last quarter of this game. We're midway through the second half. They're still trailing by two goals to one. Dina Richarlison tries to carve the ball forward towards Sigurdsson. Cleared away by Cavaselli. Headed back by Yerimina. Now coming forward is Decore. Ahead of him is De La Feu. Just about keeps the ball in play. Stabbed out by Gay. Out it goes for a Watford throw on this right-hand side. Yeah, and just a bit of a lull. But what a save. He's seen that Foster save again on the monitor. It's going to his right-hand side. And he somehow gets that left foot to the ball. I think when you see Sigurdsson step up from that range, you're only thinking one thing. Well, a missed opportunity for Everton in this second half where two goals in the space of three minutes have put Watford on course to end their losing sequence three straight defeats remember for Watford but they have been the better of the two teams in the second half and they'll feel hard done by in the first half yes they will a couple of big decisions went against them here is Yeri Mina now coming forward the Colombian international under pressure from success success has fouled him Yeri Mina then well, hold on, hold on. Yeri Mina puts out an, an outstretched left hand. I'm not sure that that warrants the response from wow. success. As if he's been punched in the midriff by Tony Bellew, who's in the director's box in front of us. <laughs> he's, Come on. If he's winded from that, then he's in trouble, isn't he? <laughs> that, was, that was flimsy. Tosun's going to be coming on the third and final change for Everton. Lookman, one of the other substitutes, sees his cross blocked, headed away by Holobas. Played forward. Nice little touch by Sigurdsson. Coleman with a cutback, Sigurdsson might get there. Richarlison in the second attempt. And Richarlison, to his credit, stayed on his feet because Quinner was the player who made the challenge. And he brought the ball away for Watford. How good was that from young Quinner, though, to make that challenge? Richarlison, he has to score, you think. Sets the ball, gets up. And left foot and he looks like he's going to get a shot up but Greener nicks the ball off him just in time brilliant defending from the youngster he's the second youngest player to start his first Premier League match for, uh, for Watford 18 years 319 days he was signed from West Ham in the summer for a million pounds made his debut in the Premier League against Manchester City last week but the way he applied himself there because that was risky in the penalty area as what, uh, Everton make their third and final change. And Gay has gone off, and Cenk Tosun, the Turkish striker, has come on. Both of his two goals this season have been as a substitute, and Everton will be hoping that he can make an impact tonight in the remaining 18 minutes. Well, he's gambled, hasn't he, Silva? On two up top now, two physical centre-forwards. But that interception... Queener was absolutely crucial it really was Sigurdsson slice shot Richarlison went to ground got back to his feet he thinks he scored he thinks it's done what an interception Chalabar's going to be coming on for Watford little touch by Tosin play back into the penalty area flags up against Richarlison on that far side Watford still lead by two goals to one 18 minutes remain so Chalabar's going to be coming on which will be just a sit in front of that back four for the England international he's just going to get some final instructions from Javi Grathia yeah he's the insurance policy good player had injury problems this season Chalabar Interesting as well that when you were talking before with Neda Manua and, um, and, and Mark about, you know, Loftus-Cheek and Phil Foden and the opportunities, this is a player, uh, Nathaniel Chalabar, who, what is he, uh, a little bit older. Um, Gareth likes him, doesn't he? He does like him. 
but this week he actually turns 24 his birthday will be in two days time um, but he moved away from Chelsea for first team opportunities admittedly Chelsea do have a, a clause of first option to, to buy him back but this is somebody who wants to play regular football and felt the need to move away from Stamford Bridge in order to get it and he is going to be replacing Isaac's success Nathaniel Chalabar well I think success has been a success for Watford this evening he's been a real handful a thorn in Mina's side have a little playful shove nice to see that success in Mina Heavy grass here saying I'm going to shut up shop now I'm surprised at this substitution because he's been more of a handful than Troy Deeney yes he has he's uh, been told to hurry it up he uh, takes his time and there he comes to replace uh, Chalabar with 16 minutes remaining as Watford lead by two goals to one he talks about that run of picking up only one point from 15 they've got games which are Cardiff at home on Saturday, West Ham away and Three then Chelsea points. at home on Boxing Day but Everton time is running out Gomez plays it forward cleared away by Holobas and of course Sigurdsson with that missed penalty De La Feo ooh, almost played it through towards uh, Decore, Sigurdsson goes long, looking for the run of Tosin and Cabaselli well, he was running backwards, backpedalling, completely lost his balance, fell over. Foster, though, was the sweeper out of the penalty area to clatter it away back downfield. Well, Foster had to get that right, sweeping up. Good interception. Cabaselli made a real mess of that. Here is Mina, Richarlison, out to Dina, near side the left. Everton playing from right to left. Nice little flick by Sigurdsson. Oh, he didn't quite come off. Decore was there, very effective in the midfield. Pereira, he spotted the run of De La Feo but couldn't find him and it uh, finds its way all through to, uh, to Jordan Pickford who hasn't conceded more than one in these last five until tonight. Talked about them being quite tight in uh, defence and economical in recent games. Well, Watford have changed all that with the two goals here tonight as Calvert-Lewin barged over, free strength. kick given to the home side. Good strength and for Watford now, they still have to get up the pitch and success coming off it's just the lone striker now in Troy Deeney trying to shore up that midfield area and say to Everton you're not playing through us at 10 o'clock we've got the flint off savage and ping pong guy for you to listen to it's two on to Watford Sigurdsson with a free kick into the penalty area defended well by the head of Holibas helped further away by Pereira only as far as Sigurdsson plays the ball back out towards that right touch line level the penalty area is Coleman tries to go on the outside and succeeds Chalabar then will head it away chested off by Dini played back to him by Quinna and a little bit too far ahead of Dini and it goes out of play for an Everton throw 14 minutes remain yeah, that's what I'm talking about that substitution Watford will have to play the way up the pitch they don't have that one big ball up with Dini so isolated that's Chris Sutton with us on BBC Radio 5 Live and for the next two nights after this one we look to the Champions League Liverpool against Napoli tomorrow Barcelona against Tottenham not as much jeopardy riding on the next night on Wednesday where Manchester City require just a point to top the group of course they're already through as are Manchester United who are in Valencia here is Mina though for, uh, for Everton who had an opportunity to go above United in the table throwing that away at the minute Luckman with a cross strikes Cathcart Chalabar able to turn in an international closed down by Sigurdsson runs off hit the Icelandic internationals outstretched left foot and is picked up by Ben Foster 13 he minutes remain he hasn't got the pace of the game yet Chalabar that's twice and he's given the ball away only one win in their last seven away in all competitions and that was Wolves this will be a sweet one given the uh, the history between the two clubs particularly at boardroom level with the uh, dispute involving Marco Silva very happy indeed they are with Javi Gracia here is Mina leaves it for uh, for Gomez the tempo of Everton has slowed considerably in this second half 
finding it much harder to try and get past Watford in their green shirts are just dropping off here is Dinia Dinia with a cross from the left hand side might come towards Richarlison good goalkeeping by Foster bravely down at the feet of the young Brazilian there's a good ball in from Dinia left hand touch line and Tosin gets the ball down Vasselli puts him under pressure Richarlison nicks the ball off him but Foster again alert off his line in the absence of uh, Capu, Decore is everywhere at the minute in the uh, in the midfield. They were very happy that they kept him in the uh, in the summer transfer window. Decore has been linked with uh, with bigger clubs, yeah. rangy midfielder. I think he's been their outstanding player. Took his goal really well. He can play though, can't he? Certainly can. Out it goes towards Coleman on that far side. Just over ten minutes of normal time remaining. Calvert Lewin back then with Keane Keane to Mina Dini wants him to come forward with the ball he reaches the halfway line and then finds it to Sigurdsson who's deep just outside the centre circle back with a Colombian defender Gomez now takes over dark hair, beard, Portuguese international Keane now strides and carries the ball midway through the Watford half they've helped it out towards Coleman on the right hand side Coleman though can't deliver the ball he's got to get past so many green shirts Lookman with his back to goal right corner of the penalty area Gomez now 30 yards out floats it forward Dini with a downward header into the penalty area Tosin flicks it up in the air Watford are back there Sigurdsson has an effort complete miss kick and then that's pulled out by Holibas a hurried clearance out it play goes for an Everton throw late pressure yeah what they have done though Watford with that change of tactic have allowed Everton to really start dictating the play Tinia with the throw in it goes headed away by De La Feo help further clear Chalabar can't get there Gomez to Dinia comes on the inside the left back looks up sends over the cross into the penalty area it goes just taken away off the, uh, the legs Pereira. of Richarlison by Pereira yeah. working hard Watford yeah, a really timely interception Potential counter-attack now for Watford. Chalabar forward to De La Feo. Chalabar's continuing his run. De La Feo into the penalty area. Comes off Gomez and Chalabar will quite happily let it run out for a corner kick. That annoys me. The assistant referee surely could have seen that that was a corner. Yet he looks to Kevin Friend and Kevin Friend tells him it's a corner and then he signals that it's a corner. <laughs> That's why <not. laughs> He pointed to the corner. Only after the referee told him to. The ball guy. Under ten minutes remain. They're in no hurry no. at the minute. Chalabar's just... Chalabar been booked there. Chalabar's just been shown a, a yellow card. He's pleading he his must, innocence. He must have said something. That's that's crazy, isn't it? If, well, I suppose it's not if he... It's booked for dissent. Certainly don't think he told him that the assistant referee should have raised his flag. Anyway, in comes the corner kick for Watford, leading by two goals to one. Headed away by Richarlison. Decore couldn't meet it on the volley because Everton had broken ranks and as the ball is put back in, it runs out of play for an Everton throw on that far side. And it will be an Everton throw deep inside their own half with nine minutes remaining. Here is Gomez. Watford, though, have pinned Everton back and, in fact, have been awarded a throw. Well... Oh, credit to Watford. We talked about their run. A team, you think, coming into this game lacking in confidence. They haven't shown it. They've been the better side. Especially in this second half. Come out on the front foot. Could have felt sorry for themselves. Could have felt hard done by. It's been completely the opposite. Long throw comes in from the left-hand side. Headed up by Coleman. Coleman then clears it away only as far as the chest of Holobas on that far side the left Holobas can't get away from Calvert-Lewin on that far side Sigurdsson has failed to convert two of his last three Premier League penalties and uh, they had had opportunities certainly with that one midway through the second half to level but Watford aggrieved by those decisions in the first half Gomez caught Jalabar in the face with a high boot it's a free kick eventually called it back it's it the was right decision he was shown the uh, the yellow card Chalabar for delaying the restart oh come on really yeah but he wasn't taking the corner delaying the restart that's probably why he was a little bit confused you haven't answered 
I didn't know you'd ask me a question. He wasn't taking the corner, so how can he delay the restart? Don't ask me, I didn't show them the yellow card. <laughs> 38,400 is the attendance here in Goodis Goodison flat. Park. It's been flat, hasn't it, tonight inside? It has. Seven minutes to go. Watford have a free kick, curls its way in, and it'll be stopped from going out for a corner by Gomez. His delivery's been awful. Charge tonight. down, comes to Cathcart, to Dale Lefeo, right corner of the penalty area, comes on the inside of Gomez. There's an outstretched leg there, Gomez now will clear, only as far as Chalabar. No foul, says the referee. Credit to Watford because they're still pressing quite high up the pitch to prevent what, uh, Everton from coming out. Pereira rolls the ball down the touchline and it goes out for a throw right down by the corner flag. And you can hear the frustration of the Everton fans. Tosin, who was in there, free, clear, had Gomez got that ball through to him. He is furious with Gomez. Haven't done enough though, have they? Second half, Everton. No, and I think they started both halves really poorly. Corner kick has been awarded to uh, to Watford. Pereira just sees the ball roll past him. The young ball boy uh, with his white bib, it's almost as big as him, trundles onto the pitch to kick it past. Pereira wasn't going to do it for him. Well, is he, is he going to get one of these deliveries right, Olivas? Six minutes remain. His side lead by two goals to one. Two goals in the space of three minutes. He got that one right. It was knocked so short to Pereira. Tries to come on the inside of Tosin. Goes up in the air. De Lefeo. Back to Holobas. Holobas chips it into the penalty area. Downward header by Mina. De Corre. First time ball out towards Chalabar. Over on that far side, the left. Behind him is Quina. Quina looks up. Midway through the Everton half. Tries to switch play. Pereira. Comes away for with it with Tosin, though. And ball. Tosin now. Pereira complains to the assistant referee. Handball not spotted. Tosin tumbles to the floor and gets a free kick that he wants to take quickly. He does so to Mina. Everton getting desperate. Five minutes of normal time remain. Out it goes. Along the ground to the right-hand side. Coleman with a cross into the penalty area. Outstretched leg by Holobas. Goes behind for a corner kick. Everton still trailing. Well, can they find something? Can they dig deep, Everton? Coleman, the early cross from the right-hand side, deflected behind for a corner. Mina forward, Keen forward. So Lookman is going to take the corner kick on that right-hand side in towards the near post. Didn't beat the first man, cleared away by Chalabar. Richarlison was the intended target. It's going to be an Everton throw. Four minutes remain of normal time. Lookman. Hardly seen any of the ball, Lookman, since he came on. I mean, that was a, a wayward pass, which is easily going to be brought away by Kiko for Watford. All in green, playing from left to right. Dealt with by the head of Keane. Out of play, it goes for a throw. And there'll be no rush from Watford to take this. They've done a job on Everton, haven't they? Really have. Yeah, they have. Just looking as well at Everton this season, they've only conceded nine goals in open play. Only Liverpool and Manchester City have conceded fewer than that in open play this season. But uh, Watford with those two quick goals are looking for their first three points since late October. It's been a, a run of form where they have lost ground on teams around them and above them. Not many people, I don't think, expected them to get the three points here today, given that Everton have been quite strong at home. I think That's you're right. Watford's form hasn't been good, but they've shown a real belief, a desire, an organisation. Just need to see it through now. Three minutes of normal time remaining. There will be, I would imagine, three, maybe even four minutes of added on time. We've had a few stoppages in the number of substitutions that uh, both sides have, uh, have used as Pickford plays it forward to, to Yerry Mina to Gomez just outside the centre circle of his own half to Richarlison back with Mina on the halfway line then he goes to Gomez who's in between the two central defenders and it's a ball that is in the air and switched out towards the right hand side Coleman plays it forward and then Lookman 
coming in off that right touch line. Behind him is Keane. Keane now strides and continues to run forward. Sigurdsson looking for Coleman. Coleman now right side of the penalty area. Can he deliver the ball? He's being helped out by Michael Keane. Back to Coleman. Where's the delivery? In it comes now. Sigurdsson with a header gathered in by Ben Foster. Just reaching high up towards his near left-hand post to make the catch. Yeah, Coleman dug the cross out right-hand side of the box. But no real pace. So Sigurdsson has to generate his own power from the header. That's comfortable from Foster. Two minutes of normal time remaining. Here is Coleman on that far side, coming under pressure from Pereira. They have worked very, very hard off the ball of, uh, of Watford. Javi Grafia will be uh, very pleased. You what, Justini there. It's a, coming together with Gomez. There's a little kick out there. Kevin Friend is talking yeah, to him. I don't think it was a big swipe with his boot, but there was a, a coming together. And it was daft from Dini. Well, it is, given the situation, because he doesn't have to show any sort of, like, frustration like that, does yeah, he? I tell you, gets away with that. You can't do that. Little rap on the heels of Gomez from the right foot of Dini. You wouldn't, you wouldn't say it was a violent kick out, but it, 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 it was petulant, it if was. anything. Just over 60 seconds remain. Pickford goes long. Mina was up from the back. Loose ball. Runs off the legs of Dale Fay. It'll be an Everton throw. Level with the penalty area on the left-hand side. We're inside the last 60 seconds. We're going to find out how much added on time there will be. Mariapa's going to be coming on for Watford. Dinia goes towards Mina. Comes off the head of Dale Feo. Behind for a corner kick. I mean, it's not what you'd call a mammoth throw, is it, from Dinia? It's another opportunity from a corner this time. The left-back's going to take it. This will be an outswinging corner on the near side, the left. In it comes now. Over the top. Another corner kick for Everton. Still playing, applying the late pressure. Mariapa getting his final instructions. Just give me one more half chance. That's what Marco Silva will be thinking. One more opportunity. How much added on time will Lee Mason show six minutes into the six minutes now I was expecting maybe four yeah, I was expecting six comes I don't know how you sleep at night here is Decore nothing materialised from the second corner Decore comes under pressure how good how good has he been tonight Decore he's run the midfield well he will sleep soundly tonight that well, I have so no he should. He's worked so hard. He's been a real leader in there. Knitted the play together. Superb header. And this uh, young man as well, only 18 years yep. of age, Quinner, for his first start in the Premier League, hasn't done too bad either as he makes way. And we think back, crucial moment. Richarlison looked like he was going to score at 2 1. Who was there to take the ball away from him? Quinner, the young man. Certainly not been short of uh, talking points this game. With the, uh, the Everton first goal, where the Mina should have been sent off late on in the first half. And then the, uh, the missed penalty offside against De La Feo for Everton, which had a chance for Sigurdsson to make it 2-2. 2-1 to Watford, and we're into the second minute of the six that are added on. Now Mina's gone forward, makeshift centre forward. Watford now have a try and have a, a high line as Pickford goes long with a free kick. It's going to drop inside the penalty area and Foster will catch that ball. Well, Caviselli saying, I was fouled there. I think it was Michael Keane, but the ball bounces through to Ben Foster, I think. It's better to work an angle there, Jordan Pickford. Foster goes long with a clearance, comes off the head of Keane and goes forward, but it runs out of play. Over on that far side for a Watford throw. Two minutes of four. Grathier wants his side to push on up. Getting more and more animated in his suit and his technical area. Whereas Marco Silva just watching on with his hands stuffed inside his trouser pockets. He almost looks resigned. Throw from Holibas. Down the line it goes. Dini doesn't keep the ball in play. Goal kick it will be for Everton. And what you have to say, this would be a massive, a massive 
three points for Watford form hasn't been good of late but I think they've been worth it I yeah. do look at their recent you know form away from home that was a moving ball from the goal kick that's why Pickford's got to retake though, it that's petty Ian isn't it not if they score you're gonna from say, it. You, you're going to say rules are rules or laws are laws I would have said laws are laws yeah they've won just I, two I would have thought you would have said rules are rules yeah leave that to other commentators <laughs> <laughs> Cavaselli heads it away Didi now to Pereira De La Feo's offside if the ball goes then didn't, couldn't hold his run instead Pereira finds Decore Decore now will sweep the ball across from the right hand side towards Dini headed away by Luckman Holobas comes forward Holobas has done well as he runs in field but he's lost the ball to Mina who was almost playing as a midfielder there Dini plays it forward the French international towards Tosin head bobbing willing runner Mariapa though cuts it out keeps the ball in play needless to say the energetic Decore the ubiquitous Decore was there but he couldn't keep the ball in play either it's going to be an Everton throw with some two and a bit minutes remaining of added on time where Watford still lead by two goals to one on five line Dinia with the throw long flicked on by Richarlison comes off the shoulder of Tosin De La Feo plays it long looking for Dini foot chase he's always going to lose out to Coleman Coleman actually turns away from Dini and Coleman looks for his options the blue shirts want it played forward Coleman does exactly that Looked like a handball there free kick it was uh, Cavaselli, Cavaselli yeah. stupidity from Cavaselli Keane Mina had stayed forward and this is well within range absolutely daft from Cavaselli raises his left arm what's he doing? moment of madness could prove costly particularly when you've got people of the ability of Sigurdsson or Richarlison well this it's is Sigurdsson range couldn't score from 12 yards That's Richarlison who's got hold of the ball and Dina is over it as well it is almost on the D Dini with the left foot, the right foot of Sigurdsson, Richarlison isn't interested, Richarlison now walks away. We're inside the last 60 seconds of the six to be added on. Watford's lead is only a slender one. It's Dini who goes with a free kick and he scores his first goal for the club to wipe out that Watford lead. Cabasele will rule the outstretched hand. It proved to be a costly mistake. And Watford are still searching for their first win at Goodison Park. Dini with a superbly executed free kick makes it 2 2. Well, there is a silver lining for Everton. It's brilliant from Dini. Absolutely brilliant. Left footed, no chance for Foster. Whips it into the corner of the net, over the wall. Brilliant technique, first goal for Everton and a big goal. Was a big goal. And Watford, who were thinking they were so close, Javi Grathia must be cursing his luck at the moment, headed away by Mina. As Chris Sutton said, they missed an opportunity from 12 yards, but that was superbly taken by Dinia, who comes forward. Surely there isn't time for them to go and win it, is there? By my watch, the six minutes are already up. Watford now go to the other end as De La Feo comes forward De La Feo gets away from the challenge of Calvert-Lewin De La Feo is into the penalty area this is Pereira across oh. the face of goal it goes he's got to find Dini there Pereira and there is the full time whistle and what has been a very entertaining game finishes Everton 2 Watford 2 Everton took the lead through Richarlison Walcott who had one touch was offside in the build up to the goal but it was a very good taking goal by Richarlison against his former club Mina could easily have been sent off just before half time and then two goals in the space of three minutes a Coleman on goal and then a towering downward header from Decore put Watford in front Sigurdsson missed a penalty saved by the legs of Foster midway through the second half but what a free kick from Dinia in added on time Everton 2 Watford 2